Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Grove on this wonderful Sunday. We thank you all for being here today and welcome you all and those of you that are also with us via the internet. I want to commend to you the announcements in your bulletin. Uh, I do have a couple of uh, I'm going to point out a couple of things. Uh, one, we have our friend Elizabeth Ladonna is back here again today. Those of you, those of you who are familiar with Elizabeth from our from previous times here and from Sounds of the Season, she'll be bringing her flute talents here today. And also, good to see Jim Farley here today. Amen. And also, um, uh, if you'll note in the uh, in the program, there is a uh, video tribute to Elisa uh, accordingly. Do we have anything else of, of note to, to bring up? Seeing nothing, let us prepare for worship. O oh God of promise, we give you praise for your redeeming grace. You break down dividing walls of hostility and fill us with your spirit of reconciling love. You are God who indeed promises new life to all. Amen. Amen. Please rise if you are able and join in the call to worship as printed in your bulletin. Here are the good news. We are all members of the household of God. We have heard the Lord of God with our Jesus himself. In the Lord, we are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. Come, Holy Spirit, come and dwell within us. Let us worship God. Our opening hymn today is number 17. Praise the Lord, all O heavens adore him.
Hear the good news. We now dwell in Christ and have received forgiveness. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Thanks be to God. battle of 
his injustice and our oppressions. For those exhausted by the struggle with poverty and hunger, Lord, we ask for the hope and comfort of your spirit for those lives that are overshadowed by illness or pain, for those whose lives are darkened by sorrow and bereavement. Lord, we ask for the peace and joy of your spirit for those living in the shadow of wars and violence, for those eaten up by guilt and anxiety and whose Christian life has become hard and dry. Lord, we ask for the guidance and the strength of your spirit for those uncertain how to use their time, their talents, their gifts, for those tempted to do what is wrong, we pray, Lord God. And Lord, we ask for the love and courage of your spirit for those reaching out to comfort the distress for those reaching out to others with the good news of Christ. Loving God, we ask for the assurance of your spirit to know your presence with us in our daily lives, in our relationships with you and others, in our work and service, in our worship, and in our times of joy and pain. Holy Spirit, come. Be with us at this moment, walk with us, go before us, lead the way, Lord God, and we shall follow. But more than that, Lord, we recall the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples that brought them comfort by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for our and power and glory forever. Amen, amen, and amen. Jesus is our peace. With hearts filled of his peace, Therefore, let us share the peace of Christ with one another. May the peace of Christ be with you. Let us greet each other warmly this morning.
often, Lord, we rush and hurry from from here to there without taking time for renewal. More time to really listen to your word. Open our ears now to really hear as we sit at Jesus' feet. Jesus, teach us. Amen. Amen. Our first New Testament reading today is from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 9 and 10. It's found in your Pew Bible, page 1888, 1888. 1 Peter 2, 9 through 10. And we read, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The gospel reading today is from the gospel of Mark. And that is uh, chapter 6. Verses 30 through 34, and that is on page 1562 in your Q Bible. Mark 6, 30 to 34, and we read. The apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all that they had done and taught. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. So they went away by themselves in a boat to a solitary place. But many who saw them leaping recognized them and ran on foot from all the towns and got there ahead of them. When Jesus landed and saw a large crowd, he had compassion on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. So he began teaching them many things. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I want to thank uh, Lucas, Miss Dana for gracing us again with her present beautiful rendition of How Great Thou Art, accompanied by our own. Thank you both very much. Our second New Testament reading this morning is from the letter of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 11 through 22. For those of you who have pew Bibles, this may be found on page 1819. Our second New Testament reading from the epistle Ephesians chapter 2 verses 11 through 22. I shall be reading from the New International Version. The Word of God for the people of God. 